Diamond Painting friends, Jessica here with Tiny Worlds of Wonder. And today I'm stopping in to share something that I'm finding really exciting. <laughs> My good friend Robin at Distracted by Diamonds recently contacted me and asked if I would try out something that she was literally cooking up in her kitchen. Now, at the point I'm filming this video, Robin has actually already launched this product in her Etsy shop. Um, but here's what it is. Look how cute this is. This is called Patty Wax. And this is a brand new, never before seen, original scented diamond painting wax. Now, do you have to have all the amazing tools to do and enjoy diamond painting? No, you do not. You can diamond paint with, most of the time, everything that comes in your regular standard diamond painting kit. But, if you are tired, if you are tired of this, this stuff right here, and the residue it leaves all over your diamonds, and the boogers it leaves, and how often you have to refill your pen all the time, then Patty Wax is gonna change your life. Your diamond painting universe will be shaken forever. So, I have had a ton of fun experimenting with Robin's various formulas. This is actually the second batch that I've tried out, um, and I'm absolutely loving it. Friend mail is just about the most exciting thing you can get and useful friend mail is even better. So Robin, thanks very much for your confidence in me letting me test this out for you. And I hope my viewers can really learn something about how to use this product and why you might wanna use this product. So let me show you how Patty Wax is different from this regular normal pink wax that you get in all your diamond painting kits. So when you get pink wax and you get your plain old pink pen, I just pulled a couple out of my stash here. To load your pen, what you're going to do with the standard pink wax is to poke your wax into your pen, give it a little twist, repeat until the whole tip of your pen is full of wax and sticky. Now, in my experience, <laughs> this takes a lot of wax for one, and this just does not last very long. So I might have to reload my pen once for every very small section of painting that I do. Um, but with Patty Wax, at least the batches I've been testing, I have been able to do a huge amount of real estate on my diamond paintings without ever refilling my pen. Now the other thing I'm loving about this is that these smell absolutely delicious. So in front of me I have sweet cucumber, I have back in blackberry, I have vanilla latte, which I have to say, since I'm a coffee holic, is completely my favorite. Some um, one called spa day and one called snozberry. Now some of these might be Robin's test patties, so. I can't guarantee you exactly what they're going to look like when you get them from the Etsy store, but I can tell you, these smell amazing, and my craft area has smelled delicious <laughs> since ever since they came in the mail. So I'm gonna do a little drilling here with you. I'm gonna show you some of the differences in how to use this wax. First, let's start with loading up our pen. So I have let this wax or before I started using it, I let it set out for about 24 hours. I live in a very cold climate, and because this wax is firm, and in the mail it gets very cold where I live, um, I really had to let this come to room temperature before I tried to diamond paint with it. So, what you're gonna do is make sure that your wax is more or less um, room temperature, and then make sure that you're using the side that is not as shiny. So I made a mistake here because I, I jumped right into the top. I was so excited. But you're really supposed to use the side um, that is not so shiny, so the back side. And the cool thing about that is 
with some of these shaped ones, you preserve the cuteness of them for even longer. So what you're gonna do, you're not going to poke into the wax like you do with the horrible pink wax, okay? You're gonna use a scraping motion and just basically skim the wax off the top of the block you're using, okay? And according to Robin, I have watched Robin's instructional video, which is guaranteed to be better than mine because she's, she's the source of the information. I'll link it in the cards up in the corner. Um, but you're gonna load this up the first time until it is just overflowing, okay? Then what you're gonna need to do is take some kind of sharp slash straight instrument, which of course I forgot to grab because I'm so organized. I'm just gonna use this regular pair of Evermoment tweezers and just scrape the top right off, okay? So that is loading up 101. Now I found that this amount that I scrape off, I could just kind of stick back on my block of wax and use it later. Um, okay, so I've got that one filled up. Now for this side, I'm gonna do the same procedure. I'm gonna scrape across the top and fill this up really, really well. Kind of push everything down in there as much as I can and then stick the excess back to the top of my patty wax. Okay, now I think this amount of patty wax might last me about 40 years because this stuff, once you get it kind of conditioned, you can set a lot of drills without ever having to reload. That's been my experience with it. So let me grab my drills. I'm working on Santa Face from Diamond Art Club. So I'll set a few of these drills. Set this deliciousness off to the side here. I'm really enjoying the colors in this canvas but I am finding that I have to take frequent breaks because color blocking is so boring to me. <laughs> but this canvas is going fast, way faster than my other one. All right, so let me peel back my cover here. Now, something you should know before you start using patty wax, the first few drills you set with this are going to have a little bit of goop in my experience, a little bit of goop, not a lot, not more than pink wax, um, but as it sort of settles into the pen and you set more drills with it, it just gets better and better and better. So I found actually that I never lost tackiness or I haven't yet lost tackiness in the first pen that I filled up with patty wax. I have just packed those that wax into the pen more and had to top it off. So for me, this is lasting a really, really long time. Now what you're gonna wanna do when you first start, because this wax is more solid, like I said, your first few pokes into your drills, you're gonna wanna center your drill into your wax and create a little divot, the little divot that you wanna keep as you are setting. And because this is so firm, it's gonna keep that spot intact. And I found my drills much easier to place straight as well because I sort of had almost a template stuck in my wax for where those needed to go. So the same thing with the multi-placers. I'm gonna press down from the top and they're gonna to wanna to escape from you the first few times because this is firm wax, but just keep going for it Press in really good so that you get those drills where you want them to be on the pen, okay? And then go for it, okay? And you'll see that this 
um, wax created some drill markings there. So the next time I go in for my drills, they're already straight because my pen knows where to put them, okay? Now I tend to have a fairly light touch when I place drills. I am not a drill squisher, typically. So I have found that there's a tiny bit of learning curve with the pressure to use as well. So um, you're not gonna wanna press your drills either too hard or too gently. It's, the amount of pressure needed is a little bit different than with the pink wax. The pink wax, I find that I have to um, press a little harder than I do with this um, to get contact. So, and this is a poured glue canvas, so it's not, there's not quite as much rebound in the glue on this one, but I still do get that nice little satisfying pop. All right. So as I use this, see how I got a little booger there? I'm just gonna take my tweezers and just remove that. Now, I haven't found that I get more boogers with this, but I find that, than with pink wax, but I find that I get fewer as I go along. So this, it's sort of like the wax gets conditioned as you use it and becomes slightly less tacky and becomes, it becomes more of its true self, you guys. It develops into its true level of tackiness. <laughs> that just goes and goes. Okay? And once you kind of get started, those boogers disappear, in my experience. So the little bit of residue you might get at the beginning, you won't get anymore. So what I plan to do, if I do have some um, residual wax, and I have to do this with pink wax too, honestly, is just take my hair dryer, get this a little bit hot, not too hot, you don't wanna mess your adhesive up, but a little warm, and then just buff the top of my drills off with a cloth, so. Do you hear that? My furnace is running, so you might not be able to, but it's oh so satisfying. <laughs> I really love it, and it smells delicious, so. Like I said, a bit of a learning curve at first because it works a little bit differently than the pink wax, requires a slightly different amount of pressure, but the reason I like this so much, even though she is my friend, if I didn't like this, I would not share it with you. But I really, really do like it. Um, it is just made, A, my diamond painting area smell delicious, which is a big perk, but in my experience, I just don't have to reload. I don't have to reload every 10 minutes. I'm really enjoying this. I hope you guys will check it out. I hope you found the little tutorial helpful as you're getting started with it. Check the description below for a link to Robin's Etsy store. Check the cards above for a link to her tutorial. And as always, spread some joy wherever you are today, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.